What is up everyone, it's Spromethius, and today we are talking about something that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with, and that is long shots of espresso. But we're not talking about just any long shot, we're talking about a very specific kind of long shot. And to get that done, I had to make a slight change to my bar. That's right, thanks to my friends at the California Roasting Collective, I got my sticky barista fingers on a decent espresso machine. And I did that for one reason and one reason only to try Scott Rayo's Olange exactly how he intended it. No recreations, no exceptions, pure Olange. I've been curious about this shot style for a while now, and since it's claimed to put more commonplace wider ratio shots to shame, and after Scott's recent article and an issue of Stand Art, I was determined to make it happen. But first, speaking of, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Stand Art Magazine. If you're into coffee, its culture, and learning about the world around it, Stand Art Magazine is the perfect addition to your brew bar. With quarterly releases, they shed light on issues both inside and outside of the cafe, highlighting people who elevate the industry and deep dives into technical ideas like brewing and mechanics. To sweeten the deal, each new issue also comes with a sample of coffee from some of the world's best roasters to give you the full sensory experience. You can't beat the combination of fresh coffee and fresh print. Head over to standartmag.com slash Prometheus or hit the standart link in the description to snag your own year subscription shipped direct to your door nearly anywhere in the world. The Alange is a long shot in nearly every sense of the word, and it directly translates to elongate. There are four tenets of Pilates that I live my life by. One, lengthen. Two, elongate. It's intended to be a 35 to 40 second shot, but also aims for a ratio that would genuinely upset some baristas. And it's definitely not winning any beauty pageants or getting lots of likes on Instagram. It's not a one to three or a one to four. That shit's child's play. It actually makes its way to one to five and in some cases even beyond one to six. So if you're doing the math, that means for your standard 18 gram shot of espresso, you're pulling out roughly three plus ounces of liquid. So the challenge here is this shot isn't that much longer in terms of time than your standard pull. So getting over 100 milliliters out in that amount of time requires a coarser grind and a cavalier attitude towards channeling and blonding. The Decent tries to control this as much as it can, but physics will be physics. And even with a controlled flow rate, it's still an ugly proposition. On the actual profile for the shot, you can see after about a 10 second pre-infusion, the profile quickly peaks to a traditional 9 bar and then ramps down during the course of the shot while also maintaining its flow rate. The overall expectation to a shot like this is something watery and sour, but Scott claims it has the potential to, and I quote, explode with round juicy fruitiness. And that sounds right up my alley, so let's give it a go. Getting a hold of a decent, although being the biggest factor in arguably creating the ideal Olange, the coffee still makes a pretty big difference. And in an effort to stay as true to Scott's vision and description as possible, I picked up a washed, light roasted, fruit forward Ethiopian. After dialing in and tasting it as a more standard shot, it's definitely riding the edge of too acidic. So I switched to the Alange, which was as simple as loading up the profile and adjusting the grind a bit coarser to allow for a faster flow. And after pulling my first successful Alange, my first impressions were pretty positive. It wasn't watery, and it had a surprising body that I didn't expect. The taste at the start didn't blow me away, but as it cooled, the sweet notes of mango and lemon really popped, and the aftertaste lingered, which was full of jasmine. Essentially, the Alange just elevated things that I love about a classic washed Ethiopian, but to get a fuller picture, I pulled seven more shots back to back. The flow and cleanliness of all the shots was pretty similar with plenty of channels and spurts. Of course, the Decent is technologically advanced, but it isn't magic. When it came to tasting and testing, I found the shots I pulled to be pretty consistent in terms of flavor and extraction, with all the shots landing within a small range between 23 and 24%. Now, you may be asking yourself, how do I make an Alange if I don't have a decent or just a manual lever machine? Well, it's still possible, but it is a little trickier, potentially messier, and in my experience, less tasty. My main recommendation would be to keep the ratio on the lower end, 1 to 5 being where I found the most success on my Mini. Side by side with the decent, there is a noticeable difference in the cup they produce, even though the extraction percentages weren't all that different. 
Though not completely unenjoyable, the Mini Zelanges fell a little short on the clarity that the Decent was able to achieve. To wrap things up, my takeaway from the Elange isn't all that different to how I felt about the Lungo. It's more or less a misunderstood and often underestimated shot style, that much like any other form of espresso can either be an eye-opening experience or an undrinkable cup of hot brown garbage water. Long shots, wide ratios, or whatever you want to call them are generally accepted as a great way to turn those sometimes overly bright light roasts into a much more pleasurable experience for your taste buds. So lastly, I will say I don't always buy what Scott Rayo is selling, I mean he's a paid consultant after all, but when it comes to long shots, I have to say credit where credit is due, the Elange is probably the best of the best. But with that said, it's time for me to wrap this one up and pass the question on to you. What do you think of long shots, more specifically of the Elange? Have you tried it? Have you made them? Let me know what your experience has been, and of course drop any other thoughts or copy questions in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank you to my August Patreons, Ads, Jacob P, Christopher, Squeegee Rowe, Brian, Andre, Sean Noel, Spookus, Samantha, Claire, Stephen, Alexis, Josh B, Bound Coffee, James K, Josh, Horison, Corey C, Curry, Jeff Frost, Joey N, Thomas B, UK Espresso, Tim, Jason C, Jerry, Matt Ray, Home Barista Coach, Gumby, Zachary V, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Tyler M, Barista Michael, Matthew C, JRC, Arthur L, Absolute, Stephen G, Jose, Keefe, Stephen A, Joseph M, Ed T, Techcom Advisors, Nate B, Keith M, and Happy Camper, and of course, a big thank you to the barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.